Hi guys, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited to have you here with me today to talk about how I whiten my teeth. And you know, it's funny because for the longest time no one said anything about my teeth on this channel. And then over the last about month since I have changed my tooth whitener that I use, I'm getting a lot of comments with people asking me, how do you whiten your teeth? So that is what this video is about because I did use one product for many years and I switched to another product, which is what I'm using now and I really, really like it. But first I have some chatty details about my life I'd like to share with you. And if you'd rather just get into the tooth whitening, I totally understand that. And below is the counter that lets you know where to zip ahead to see that tooth whitening talk. But in terms of chat, I wanted to let you know what I was doing right now with regard to the coronavirus crisis. I am sheltering in place, and that means that we have been working out of our homes for about the past week. And for those of you who don't follow my channel, my sister and I own kind of an insurance benefits related company together. And we have about eight employees and we started working from home about a week ago. And for the first few days, it was a little bit difficult. I felt kind of lonely, a little bit bored at times, a little bit distracted at times. But by the third day, I started realizing that I needed to make lists to keep myself on task. And I really kind of appreciated the benefits of working out of my home. So before before I get into sharing my teeth whitening secrets, I'll show you my home office. This is my camera room, and there's some lipsticks over there. Uh, there is my diva ring, and there is the stuff I'm going to talk with you about today. And here are my two monitors, and I would love to be able to work from home in this room, and that is my goal. However, at this point, these two computers are Macs, and they are not compatible with my computers at work, so we're working on that right now. I have an IT person that's kind of studying that. But that is a look at my makeup room as it exists today. I don't know why I showed that to you, but that is where I'd really like to work from home, but that is not where I am working from home. This is where I'm working from home, which is my center island in my kitchen. This is a look at my kitchen, and it has changed since I came to YouTube. These used to be dark wood cabinets, and we painted them and painted the walls several times, but here is where I am working. And there is what I'm working on right now. There is my coffee cup, which is grungy, but it does say I am enough, which I really love that. In fact, I bought a couple of fakey tattoos that say I am enough, and I'll explain that in a video to you later. That idea of I am enough is really very helpful in terms of our happiness in life. But this is where I am working every day, Monday through Friday. And there is the rest of the kitchen. Here are my new couches. They used to be beige, for those of you who follow my channel. Now they are kind of black and white tweedy looking, which at first I didn't like, but I added these fuzzy pillows to kind of make them a little more neutral looking and blend in a little more with the existing chairs over there. And all day long, unfortunately, I have the news going. And as long as I'm not on the phone with someone, I am kind of listening to the news in the background, which is probably not best for my overall happiness lately. Oh, and there I have my crystal light because I've been giving myself a treat since I'm kind of isolated here working from home, as a lot of you are too. I do indulge in crystal light through the day. But there is a look at my office away from office. There it is, and it's really kind of comfy. I'm doing okay with it. Okay, that was a look at where I'm living every day, at least five days a week. Actually, I'm living there seven days a week because we're sheltering in place, and Wichita just got an order yesterday that was for lockdown, I guess, and so we're really not allowed to leave the house for anything except essential services. So I'm glad that I got my hair colored and my nails done because I've got at least 30 days of sheltering in place here and we'll see how it all goes. And if any of you are working at home or if you have anything you'd like to share about the CV situation with regard to your life, I hope you'll share that in the comment section below because I think one of the main purposes of my channel is for us to support each other in whatever we're going through and I would love to hear what's going on with you. Okay, let's get into teeth whitening, and I'm really very excited about this. Now, about a year ago on my channel, I did a video, and it was a sponsored video, and it was a company called Smile Brilliant, and I'll link that video below. And quite honestly, I loved the results of that teeth whitening kit, 
but it was like $175. So when it came to reordering, I just thought, you know, I can't deal with that. That's just too expensive. And I had always used this little plus white five minute whitening gel. I got this at Walmart or even Dollar General and it comes with a little whitening tray. And in many cases, I would just hop in the shower in the morning and put the tray in and have this whitener on my teeth for 20 minutes. It says five minutes, but I always tend to overdo. But even though I was using this rather religiously, I always noticed that these teeth right here, these teeth right beside the front teeth, were a little bit on the brown side. And I had used tetracycline for years, actually, for about five years when I was dealing with my trying to cure my rheumatoid arthritis. And so I thought, well, the tetracycline had just stained those and usually tooth whiteners don't work on that. And then my lower teeth were kind of yellow compared to my top teeth and they just always had been. And so I thought, well, I'm using a tooth whitener and I'm sure this is doing a great job, but it just can't deal with the tetracycline and the permanently stained teeth. Well, about a month ago, I went out to lunch with a friend of mine, Jennifer, and Jennifer and I are both in the employee benefits area and we go to church together. And I looked across the table at her at lunch and I realized her teeth were like perfect. They were blindingly white. There was no yellow on them. They were not off-white. They were like white, as white as my lights here. And I just thought, what is she doing? And so I asked her and she said she was using Crest white strips. And I used these years ago, and quite honestly, I didn't like them because they were kind of a thin plastic material that you put on your teeth and they would fall off if you even practically said two words to someone else, they were falling off. They did not stay on my teeth. And so I just forgot about them from years ago. But since she was having such great results, I thought I would give them a try. And I ordered these from Amazon. And there are 14 treatments in here. And what you do is that every day for 14 days, you use one of these on your teeth for 30 minutes. And I'm not going to open it up because quite honestly, these are like gold to me. But basically these are two clear little plastic strips, a thick one that you dry off your teeth and put on your top teeth and a thinner one that you use on your bottom teeth. And you just fold them over onto the backs of your teeth and man, do these things adhere. It is not like the old white strips at all. They really stay in place. I could talk, I could do pretty much anything I would normally do. Um, I even tried a little coffee at the end of one session and you know, they stayed on. I know that's probably not really a good way to whiten your teeth is to put the strips on and drink coffee, but anyway, it did work. And after using these, even for the first few days, I noticed that these brown teeth that I had were really gone. And the yellow that I had along here is largely gone as well. So I am really, really impressed with this. So if you are thinking that you'd like to brighten up your smile and really with what's going on nationally, all we have in our lives seems to be time. You can order it off Amazon and I'll put the link below and you could whiten your teeth and brighten your smile. Now, another thing that I use to keep my teeth white that I really love is this Crest 3D Advanced Whitening Toothpaste. Whoops, there it is. And basically this says that it whitens in three days. Now I have to admit that when I first started using this, I did not notice the whitening in three days exactly, but I did notice that over the next week or two, it seemed that my teeth looked quite a bit better. And I don't know if you remember pearl drops, but this is kind of what this reminds me of because it's got granules in it. And as you're brushing your teeth, you can just imagine that it's getting rid of those stains. It's scrubbing them away really, really, really like this. Now, another thing that I think is very important in keeping your teeth white is a good toothbrush. And I use the Philips Sonicare toothbrush. Perhaps many of you do as well. And this is actually their whitening version and it has five 30 second cycles. So you do the front of your teeth and then it dings in 30 seconds, the back of the bottom teeth, it dings in 30 seconds, do the top teeth the same way. And then it has a fifth cycle that is optional, but then you would just do the fronts of your teeth for the extra fifth 30 second cycle. And I really do like this toothbrush. I had a cheaper Sonicare for quite some time and it did not have the beeps. And so I was not very good about doing all quadrants of my teeth on a regular basis. So I have really liked this. Now, something else that I use in terms of taking good care of my teeth is little flossers. And obviously this does not keep your teeth any whiter, but it makes it easier to floss. And so now I floss twice a day and it's just really easy. And this is the Listerine flossing tool that you can get on Amazon. It's just a few bucks and it really does work. 
And then this is a little portable model and you order these from Amazon or anywhere. And I keep them in my makeup bag and then after lunch, if I need to address my teeth, then I go ahead and floss my teeth with this little guy, which is really wonderful. And the last thing I have is just something fun for our teeth. This does not promote good health of your teeth and it does not make them brighter or whiter. But if you're out to lunch somewhere and you don't have your toothbrush, it just helps freshen up your mouth. These are little Equate breath strips and they are the generic version of the Listerine breath strips. And here is what they look like. They just look like little gels and you go ahead and uh, get a gel there and then you put it in your mouth. It's kind of dissolving there. You can see it. Ooh, it feels so good. It just feels like you're getting a dose of mouthwash and I really do feel like it freshens your breath and it's just a nice little extra when you need to pick me up after lunch. Well, that was a look at the things I use to keep my teeth white. And again, if you have comments about what you use, please share them in the comments section below. We would all love to hear about that. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll do that. And I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend if possible. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I'll be choosing a card from the Miracles Now card deck and this is Gabrielle Bernstein's cards. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card. Okay, here's one. Releasing anger from the past sets me free in the present. Releasing anger from the past sets me free in the present. Ooh, this one really does apply to my own life. And it's something that I've really worked on and I think kind of triumphed on over the past few years. Basically, about 20 years ago, my sister and I worked for my parents' company. I did sales for the company and suffice it to say that we were all very happy working together as a family until we got a contract with National Walmart. And when we got that contract, which I did sell, it is the biggest account I will ever sell in my life. But when we got that account, all of a sudden, we got a lot of money into the company and then all of a sudden everybody got upset and tempers flared and everybody got grabby and it was just a horrible, horrible situation. And to make a long story short, both my sister and I ended up being let go by my parents, which was really, really tough. And both she and I were extremely angry actually for years. We were estranged from my parents over that for maybe two to three years and I could hardly stop thinking of the bitterness I felt for what I felt was a very unfair thing that they did to us. But looking back, as is true with most of our life events, that firing turned out to be one of my life's greatest blessings. And that goes along with what I always say is that God doesn't give bad gifts. But back then I didn't know that. And I thought being fired was like a horrible gift or a very mean thing. And so I got this anger, I got this resentment, and I let it eat at me for probably 10 or 15 years. Even though after two or three years, we got back together as a family, I always had the story playing in my head. My parents must not love me very much because they fired me. And that did me no good. And over the past 10 years, I've really released all the anger with regard to that situation because it is so true that when we release anger from the past, it sets us free in the present moment. And that has certainly been the case for me and I hope if you're holding on to any past anger, hurts, or resentments that you'll let them go today too. Thanks so much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.